Okay, welcome to Osmond Park this afternoon for the uh, grand final replay of last season between the, the defeated sider at home, North Geelong, and Anarchy. With me up here is Jason Dowdy. Good afternoon, Jason. It's round five of GDFL football. Good afternoon, uh, Cookie, and I'm looking forward to a fantastic game. We've had to wait five rounds for this for the grand final replay, but it should be a thrilling match. Okay, the Jace, the umpires up here are Cameron Juthy and uh, Mickey Learmonth, boundary umpires Dominic Valanti and Jason Cunningham, and in the goals, Steve Phillips and our old mate, Hein Mullerman. And uh, conditions this afternoon, Jason, will go on here. The, uh, the centre wicket area seems to be a little bit stirred up uh, at the recent range, no doubt. A bit of training on top of that might have caused that... Uh, situation this afternoon so getting the ball out of the glue pot might be the secret of the game it certainly will be and it should be a great tussle in there we can see that uh, it looks like Elford were going in the ruck for North Geelong with Welsh and we've got Craig Eves in there and Schwenison for the uh, midfield drive for North Geelong and Jeff Belairs in uh, the centre for Anarchy so we should the midfield will be an important part of the day today yeah well plays about to start here this afternoon at Osborne Park Jimmy Elmer's there in the centre wearing 15 today. Uh, 16, isn't it? To give away his Guernsey when he retired. They wouldn't give it back to him. Charts out of the centre there. Jeff Ryan missed the footy on that occasion. Now, the ball's out of that glue pot area. It's gone out wide. Mickey Gibbons running onto the football. Can't pick it up. A little Elmer can. Left foot kick around far side of the ground. Might have travelled too far. The boundary umpire's on the job now. And it is, in fact, out of bounds on the far side of the ground. And, uh, of course, pretty important game. Both clubs looking for a win. They haven't been at uh, strength as they have last year. And... Uh, both sides needing a victory this afternoon. Up on the ruck and a half forward flank. Good kick from Eves under his right foot, but he's steered it out on the full, on the wing on the outer side here at Osmond Park, and Anarchy will take the free kick. Yeah, it's Mickey Gibbons out there. He had a great game final last year, played a terrific game. He's been sent back behind the mark now. I think he wanted to uh, run on with it. But uh, Gibbons now signifies he's going to punt kick the ball long. Gets the foot into it pretty well to the targets. Corey Bissett in front. He's pulled off the footy for mine. Play on is the call. Diving in on top, but down there for Anarchy. And a player right over the top of him was Dean Burke. He's got two jumpers on down there. It's Scotty Hearn. I thought it was him. I just couldn't pick him up with the number. It, uh, the bounce down, just uh, attacking zone perhaps for Anarchy Football Club. At centre half forward now for Anarchy. Good play from Elmer. It's over the top. Shane Coots now. Handball inside. He gets well, flattened after he handballs the ball, and Shane Coots will take the free kick at half forward now for Anarchy. He looks short out towards a half forward flank. Bad kick. Troy Elzinger tries to take the mark. He can't. Good handball from Paul Camerotto. He moves it over towards Elmer. Jamie Elman close to the boundary line. Good play from North Geelong in the back line. Shane Burns, he can't control it. He's tackled high by uh, Ben Beggs there, but there's no free kick, and the umpire's call for the ball will have a bounce about 25 metres around from the Anarchy goal. Yeah, good play by the axe to hold that one in. Looking for the free kick, but not awarded. Up goes Corey Bissett. Might have won the hit down. Went too far there for Camerotto. Here comes Green. Steve Green, a little left foot kick across. Good centering kick to Steve Green. And uh, the mark taken here. It's been taken by best man of the ground, the grand final last year, Glenn Light. Now, here's, here's Glenn Light at centre half forward for Anarchy, about to have a shot into the goal mouth. Okay, Light now with a long right foot kick. It's a beautiful kick from Light as it touched on the line. I think it has been the big fella. Rob Marinovic just got his hand up there. Good kick from Light in the conditions and uh, off the hands through for one point. Good play from Anarchy. Good start to the uh, game for the visitors. Simpson. Simpson kicks out towards half back. Jeff Ryan. Good play from Jeff Ryan. He gets the handball out. North Nonchalant going to attack for the first time. Up towards Jones at centre half forward. It's over the back of him. David Cook looks like he's picking up Jones. Cook pushes it out towards half back. Craig Ease for North Geelong. Under his right foot. Around four Anarchy players. Good play. North Geelong taking a mark. Play on. Inside, we've got one loose here at Smilovic. Onto his right foot looking for Boothroyd and Jolly. Good play from Jolly in front of Boothroyd there. Push it out of bounds and we'll have a throw in in the forward pocket out of side. Osborne Park, North Geelong attacking. North Geelong with a few under 18 players up from last year. One of them there, Proctor, was the ball that kicked the ball long uh, from half back to half forward and uh, moved pretty well on that occasion. And I guess uh, they've lost a few players, so they put their faith in a bit of youth this year. Let's see how they go, these kids, as the ball's thrown back into play down in that forward pocket. It comes out towards the big fella, Paul Welsh. Standing start, tumbles the punt outside the 50 metre line. Needs support, he's got some from Glenn Light. Left the footy behind, though. Here comes Elmer, takes the ball up the ground, can't get it further afield. They stack it on top, but out there, Jeff Bryant appealing for the free kick. That won't be paid, I wouldn't think. And uh, it's a ball-up decision. 
It's just outside the 50, probably 65 metres out from the goal. It's North Geelong are attacking to the left of screen here. Uh, wind conditions today, Jason. Any support for either side going either way? I wouldn't think so today, no. Welsh tries to get the ball out. He can't do so. Good play from Jeff Ryan. He gets it over to Elzinger from 50 metres now. Looks for Boothroyd and Jolly. Boothroyd, good use of the body, and he takes the mark. Good use of the body from Rod Boothroyd. Kicked nine goals last week out of a total of 11 for North Geelong. They certainly need him to fire this afternoon. And there's one of those young fellas, Troy Elzinger. He certainly wouldn't say he's up the other 18s. He's had a two or three senior seasons now, and uh, I think he played a, in a winning grand final side for the ones, but he's uh, he's overage now. He's certainly got to play in the ones. And uh, he was the one that got the ball quickly to boot through it, used the body nicely. Now he just run around a little bit here. Here he goes and plays on and straightens up and goes for goal. He kicked it right across the face, I'd suggest, for a goal. Well, the <laughs> angle must be bad here. <laughs> a great kick for legs. Sorry about that, legs. North Geelong are obviously going to need Boothroyd to fire today. And uh, he also yes. needs some support in the forward line. Just wondering if... Uh, no, they can't get us back at the studio yet on 89.1 Country FM. Technical problems, but uh, of course, guest video bringing you the action this afternoon. And there's, it uh, looks like Mickey Costello in screen there, looking a bit rougher than ever. <laughs> He's a real goer as Mick played a good game in the grand final last year. Waiting on the ball to come back into the centre goal kicker so far. Boothroyd has got one goal for North Geelong. Hanneke, of course, hit the register, register a major score. Now he's kicked this a fair way, Legs Boothroyd. It's put it, just about put it on the Prince's Highway, I think. It's coming back now. Well, the angle looked... Uh, I thought he missed the whole woodwork there. He just must have got it through and it kept going. So, uh, good goal. That'll boost the confidence of these youngsters in the side, knowing they've got Boothroyd down there to uh, something certainly to aim at for the young boys to kick the kick the footy to. Yeah, that's for sure. Interesting match up here. Uh, Scotty Simon playing on Shane Burns. Shane, of course, the axe is a real goer, and uh, Scotty Simon, a big, tall fella. He's got to be about six foot one, a flanker, and. Uh, but it could be a bit interesting there for Pace, Burnsy. Here comes Jeff Ryan out of the centre. Right foot kick towards half forward. Ball spilled past. Here's young Marnie laying the tackle, but Glenn Light good enough to get the foot to it. Out wide, he was under pressure. Needs a bit of support. Scotty Hearn, he loves to head for the fence. He picks this one up cleanly, though. Goes with the right foot kick around the boundary line. Looking for Simon. In fact, I think he might have had too much carry on, and it's out of bounds on the far side of the ground. Not too long to take the free kick at half forward. Good kick in towards the centre, looking for Boothroyd again. It's short of him. Good mark by North Geelong, and Schwenison's taken the mark about 35 metres out, directly in front for North Geelong. Good kick, long kick there from North Geelong. Young Proctor, I think, Proctor again. was again. Yeah, Second the left long foot, kick very good, quarter. wasn't it? And a good mark by Schwenison. Un unmanned there at centre half forward, onto his left foot. He looks like he may have missed that to the left-hand side. He has, and he's kicked one behind for the home side. They go to one goal, one seven. Probably should have kicked that one, Timmy. He's a serious uh, a, a, a season. I'm trying to get out there, <laughs> campaigner. He's very serious also as uh, Jolly brings the ball back into play. Simon's the target. He's up. Second bite at the cherry. Can't hold the mark. It's flipped out the back. A chance here. There's a little fellow we haven't seen before. That's uh, young Priddle. He's one of the under-18 boys up. Got a kick into the forward line. Here comes Jolly. Does well. Long kick from Jolly. Now Beeks is in trouble. He's got two to beat. One of them is Burns. He flips the ball back to his teammate Milne. Costello kicks off the ground. Goes up the ground. Two towards the Shane Coates. The Cooter couldn't hang on to it. Eve steady as always on centre wing. Steady's now. Little kick around the body from Eves. Looking there for Simpson. Couldn't mark. Cooter. The hand pass comes back to Costello. He chips it back in short to Corey Bissett. Good vision there from the from the half-back flanker there in Costello. And he finds Bissett on the centre wing position. Bissett, good kick short towards, uh, that was Michael Gibbons. Gibbons over the top towards centre half forward. Good mark there by Glenn Light. Light takes the mark about 45 metres out. He goes short again looking for Camerotto and Camerotto has taken the mark about 30 metres out from Anarchy's goal and Anarchy just chipping it around there. Three or four little chip kicks from the wing to take it towards the forward line and Camerotto took the end mark and he'll be shooting for goal about 30 metres out directly in front. I've got to give a bit of credit there to Mickey Costello here at half back or centre wing when he, he had the ball. He didn't blaze away. He just saw his teammate at the corner of his eye there, Big Corey. He just chipped it over the top. It was good because uh, obviously Corey was up the ground. There was no one down the ground to take the grab. He, and the vision was good. And it's come off because Camarillo's going to lump in and have the shot for goal. He's usually a magnificent kick. I don't think this is any exception. It, it's a lovely kick, but it's offline. They're getting me today. It's two out of two I've missed. And uh, Camarillo registers a minor score there for the Anarchy Ruse. <laughs> David Cook needs to put those glasses on. <laughs> He's having a bit of trouble today. So we wait for Eves. He looks to the outer side. Looks out there for Elford. Good mark by Neil Elford. 
Oh, top mark. Two, two players in front of him, two Anarchy players. He's onto his left foot looking towards the wing. Jeff Ryan, he overruns it. Anarchy have the numbers here. And Stephen Green, good tackle from Ryan. Green has help from Hearn, and Hearn takes it out of bounds for a throw in out of side wing at Osborne Park. Good effort, Jeff Ryan. Uh, initially overran the footy good enough to go back and lay the tackle just when Stephen Greaves was about to get the hand pass away. Forced the error. The result, the boundary throw in. Up for grabs. Eves actually does the ruck work. Grabs it out of the air. Gives it across towards Jeff Ryan, who tries to paddle it forward. Picked up by Elmer. Elmer's hand pass back to Steve Green. Right foot kick around the body towards Simon. He's in front. He'll take this mark, and he does. He's a lovely overhead mark, Simon. And he's a lovely kick there. Corey Bissett backing back quickly. He's clean if they can get it to him in a hurry. The kick didn't go for Bissett on that occasion. Coming out, almost get the mark. That was Darren Jolly. Couldn't handle it. Pushed away from him. Here comes Swenison. Got rid of Gibbons. Here comes Light. Gathers it close to the fence. He can't quite control it. It's out of bounds. About 75 metres around from the goals to which uh, Anarchy are attacking. We wait now for the throw-in at half forward for Anarchy. We'll have uh, Corey Bissett. He goes up. He takes it out of the ruck. Good play from Corey Bissett. And about four or five players jump on the ball. And we'll have a ball up just inside the boundary line, out of sight of Osmond Park. The home, the home side leading one goal, one seven to Anarchy, two points. So wait now. Corey Bissett again. Good knockout. Can't get it to a good play from Proctor again. His third long kick this quarter. He kicks it towards the wing. Jeff Ryan's behind. Anarchy are in front. Good play out by Anarchy. David Cook's there. He's over the ball. Taps it out the back. Good play from Green. Out to Light now. Onto his left boot, up towards half forward, looking for, and not finding Michael Gibbons. It was just a bit too far for him, and it's on the full. Proctor will take free kick at half back for North Geelong. Good play in the pack situation back here in the middle by Scotty Hearn. He's a, he really is hard at the football. Is Jeff Tott walking past to see with a cup of coffee? Looks all right too. Head <laughs> of play it comes. Player up there couldn't hold the mark. Big Glenn Menzies, of course, the former Thompson champ. And uh, he's given away the free kick on this occasion. And North Geelong into attack. A fist from behind is effective. The ball at ground level. A chance here for Sid Jones. Gathers gives it back to Eves. Standing start from Eves. Chips it inside the 50 metre zone. Elzinger takes a good mark. And a hot attention there from, uh, look like Scotty Simon. Good mark, Troy Elzinger. Right on the 50 metre zone. He goes for Booth Royd. He's been front. He's behind on this occasion. Punched away by Jolly. At ground level, Priddle. Claimed in the tackle. Thrown to the ground. Did he get rid of the footy? The umpire says he did not. And the free kick going to go the way here of Anarchy. And uh, they get a relief from that back pocket position. It's out towards halfback. Jeff Belairs chases the ball now in front of Axe Burns. Good, good play from Jeff Belairs and Burns. And it'll be a throw in. In front of the scoreboard, half forward flank for North Geelong. That might have been Jason Franken down there, I think, that did the relieving work. Go with a kick out towards the... He's got the gloves on. Yeah, yeah. Welsh now and Elford. Eves over the back. Gets it... Gets it out of the ruck. Right foot towards Franken now. He falls over. Good play from Priddle to tap it over the top. Boothroyd now. He tries to tap it on over the top. Good play from Jolly who gets back and rush it for a behind for North Geelong. Yeah, Brendan Jolly got the job this afternoon on uh, Boothroyd. Boothroyd got a goal, but uh, Jolly's been wearing him pretty tight yeah, in front a, a couple game. of times when he's made the lead, so uh, he had could a be a real good last duel. Week against uh, Carayo's Wayne Tyquin too, so he'll be looking for another good game today. Well, he kicks it out looking for Darren Jolly. Couldn't hold the mark on that occasion. Sid Jones gathers at ground level. Left foot kick into the forward zone. Mark taken here by Sir Robert Menzies. He chips it out wide looking for the pacey light. He's got a bit of opposition on this occasion from Peter Tabb, the youngster up from the under 18s. And... Uh, well, they go hard at the footy, and the ball actually uh, wins because it's gone out of bounds before either player can gather it cleanly. It's about uh, 65 metres around from the goal to which North Geelong are attacking left of screen. Smilovic, and, and uh, that was also uh, Menzies going for the ruck. Good play from North Geelong to kick it up towards the forward line, but it's punched through by Jolly again, and another rush behind to the North Geelong side. It's a good move there, Brendan Jolly. Didn't try and mark, just good defensive stuff. Conceded the behind... And he didn't just half punch it, he double fisted it right through the uh, the, point, the post there. He goes for Corey Bissett with the kick in, almost the mark, all the push in the back, neither's been paid. Marty pulled off the footy when he didn't have it. Eve was gang tackled by Welsh and also Costello, a couple of roughies there, got hold of him, threw him to the turf, he had no chance of getting rid of the football and he hands it back to the umpire now, we'll have a ball up decision. We wait now, Welsh and Elford to go for the ruck again. 
doesn't come to either of them. Good play from Belez now to get the handball out to Green. Green now ducks one. Good play into the centre looking for Camarotto. It's over him. Good play from Malcolm Key at the back for North Geelong. Onto his left hand looking for Milne. It's an up and under handball. Good shepherding though from Proctor. Allows Milne to kick it out towards half forward looking for Priddle. And Priddle takes the mark in front of Costello. Onto his right foot short to Alford. Just lessens the angle a touch. Alford goes in short towards Eves. It's over the top of Eves. Play on the call. Good tackle though by Eves. Welsh butters up for Anarchy. He's got the ball now. Onto his right foot slung when he kicked. That's good play from uh, Dean Burke there. Over towards Jeff Ryan. Elzinger can't grab the ball out. It's a, at centre half back for Anarchy. Good play from Light and he finds Scott Simon on the half back flank. Been a lively customer, Glenn Light, early stages of this game and Scotty Simon with that magnificent left foot of his punt kicks at long. Up in front, Glenn Milne takes a good mark. The Wanderer wants to play on. He leaves Proctor alone and goes wide to the centre of the ground. Got a teammate in there, looks like might be uh, Schwedison. It is long left foot kick from Schwedison. The fist from the back was quite effective from Anarchy there by uh, might have been uh, Sir Robert Menzies, it was. He heads for the boundary line. Costello also trying to get it over. He might keep it in now, Costello. Well played, Mickey. Kept persisting. The kick, too much carry for Green. Must take the free kick. Good play from Mill Costello over the there top to get it to Green, and Green will take the free kick now. He plays on into his, onto his right foot, into the centre, looking for Elmer. It's over the top of his head. Malcolm Key tries to keep him from him. Good play from Elmer. Right, He's got Elmer. Camarado now onto his left foot, looking up towards Jolly. But good play from Simpson to get in front. He drops the mark, gets onto his left foot, up and under kick, looking for Jones and Light. Good work by Light to get back. Cook now over the top of the ball. Push, push it out to light. Onto his left foot towards the wing position. Camarotto, he's got 10 metres on Proctor. Back inside, looking for Green. Green attended by Elford. Good play from Elford now. Eves, onto his right foot, looking for Burns on this wing. He goes long now, Burns. He'll look, he'll look towards Boothroyd. He goes short, looking for Boothroyd. It's past him. Good play there by Smilovic. Onto his right foot, out towards Jones. He can't, tack, he can't handle the ball. And we'll have a ball up just inside the 50 metre circle for North Geelong. Good play okay. across the centre there by Eves and by Burns. Yep, ball bounced down on the 50 metre line. Ruck work done by uh, Glenn Menzies. Knocks the ball out for Anakita Woods. Light, he's hassled there by uh, Sydney Jones. The ball spills close to the boundary line. It's out of bounds now. Light's appealing for the free kick. I might be wondering why he didn't get one too, but uh, by not having any of that, and it's out of bounds far side of the ground. Now the, best, the, uh, the Great Western Hotel, of course. Uh, scoreboard, Geelong 1-3, that's North Geelong 1-3-9. Anarchy have got two points on the board. Uh, yet to me, Anarchy have looked a better side. Yeah, they've had so a far. Bit, bit more across midfield with Elmer and Camarotto, and uh, yep, they're looking good. Comes out now, good play from Elmer. There he is, handball back towards Green, who's been influential in the first quarter. Kicks it out towards Camarotto. He's got three North Geelong players to beat, he can't. He pushes it out towards the boundary line, and we'll have a throw in. Just wondering whether there is any breeze. We've seen uh, Proctor and also Swenison kick the ball long distances to the left of the screen. Could be a goal. Maybe there might be a bit yep. out there. Bit deceptive here at the moment. But Boundary uh, throw in, far side of the ground. Welsh doing the ruck work against Alford. Alford might have won that one down to ground level. Stephen Green's been in everything. He tries to get a hand pass out, can't do so. He's claimed, ridden into the ground, and we'll have another ball-up decision. A little bit scrappy at the moment after a reasonable opening, but the last five minutes, not much happening to the ball, just seesawing between respective half-back lines. We wait now. Welsh and Elford again. Welsh used the body onto his right hand. Good good ruck work there. Looks for Jeff Belairs. That's over light. Good play. That was uh, Tab who got the ball. Right foot kick up towards the forward line. Good play from Smilovic in front. Great roving from Eves. Onto his right foot. Boothroyd ducks so he can kick it over his head. And he's done so and he's kicked a goal. Craig Eves, good roving off the top of Smilovic there. And that was good play from North Geelong. Well, he's not in the veteran class yet, Craig Eves. Let's just say he's approaching that status. <laughs> but uh, he certainly makes the opposition pay when he's able to gather the football. And he was on that occasion and popped that one through. Nice goal. North Geelong have gone further ahead. On the Great Western Hotel scoreboard, of course, the replay out there, Great Western at uh, Monday night at 7.30. They've gone to 2 3 15 on the board. Anarchy have just got two behinds. And I venture to say that win, I reckon it might be worth two or three goals. I think there is a bit of breeze out there. OK, it comes back to the centre now. We wait for the umpire Michael Learmont to bounce the ball. Elford and Welsh again. Should be a titanic str struggle all day. Good play from Welsh. He gets it out towards Simpson on the half-back flank. Handball over the top towards half forward. Tab can't get the ball. Simpson off the ground again. An up and under kick. Good play from Tab, but he can't get it further than Hearn. Hearn onto his right foot out, looking towards Gibbons on the wing. 
Out of side, Osborne Park. He's got 10 metres on Proctor. Handball's inside to Camarado. Puts him under pressure. Good play from Malcolm Key. Taps it on now. Good play. In towards, that looked like it was Priddle. Out towards Boothroyd. And Boothroyd takes the mark. Good lead. 10 metres in front of Jolly. And Rod Boothroyd will take the kick about 40 metres out from goal. Poor hand pass on that occasion, wasn't it? Uh, <coughs> yeah, it was. It put Camarado under a lot of pressure. And good play from Malcolm Key, who looks to be picking up Camarado early on this afternoon. Another interesting tussle will be Daryl Jones and David Cook. It looks like Jones is playing at centre-half forward with Cook manning him for Anarchy. It was, in fact, uh, Stewie Barney that got the ball over to, uh, to Boothroyd there. And here he comes in. Leagues have at the goal umpire. Hasn't moved this time. That's a magnificent kick, don't you? Though I think there is some breeze going to that end, but they're playing well, North Geelong. They're registering the major scores, and Rod Boothroyd goes back wearing the number 48 this afternoon and puts his second of the day on the board. Great Western Hotel scoreboard will show us that North Geelong has moved on to three goals, three, 21, and Anarchy just two behinds. Yeah, ball just coming back for the centre now. Uh, Anarchy haven't had the ball over the half forward line for quite some time. Corey Bissett's playing up at centre half forward, and uh, they've got down in the goal square Darren Jolly, but they can't get it to Jolly at the moment. As the umpire puts it down again, Alford goes up and knocks the ball to the turf as the scoreboard shows us 21 plays two on the Great Western Hotel scoreboard. North Geelong are in control. Ball at centre-half forward for North at the moment. Stacks on the mill there. There'll have to be a ball-up decision, I would think, and the umpire is going to do that right now in front of the commentary position. Ball up at centre-half forward now. We wait for Welsh. <coughs> Ryan gets the tap out for North Geelong. Good play into the path of Elzinger. He can't pick it up. He's chased by Light. Good play from Elzinger over the top of the ball. Onto his left foot now. Turns around. Looks for Boothroyd at full forward. He can't grab the mark. Jolly close to him. Good play from Boothroyd and Jolly. And they both see it over the line. Between forward pocket and half forward. Commentary side for North Geelong. Good play from Elzinger there over the top of the ball. Yeah, the, the youngsters are doing quite well, aren't they? Elzing has been in the play, so too Proctor. We've seen a little bit of Priddle down there as the boundary umpire throws it back in. Gives the Ruckman every chance. No clean knockout. Elzing have crashed his way through the pack. Got towards Jones. Tried to kick it off the ground. Is it out on the full? I think it is. And uh, be a free kick to Big Paul Welsh coming up in that back pocket position. Big fellow just uh, settling things down. Comes in on right foot. Corey Bissett's the target. He's up. Goes the fist away from Orford, who snuck in front of him on that occasion. Ball close to the fence. Boundary umpire said it was out as it was paddled back there to uh, big Neil Orford, a veteran of the side. We can put him in the veteran class. Seems to be playing here forever. And Alfie uh, has to throw it back for a boundary throw in. He'll do the ruck work here and he'll contest against Costello. Good work by Tab out the back. Now on towards Schwenison. Onto his left foot. He bundles a punt towards the goals, but. It Veers off to the left at one point to Tim Schwenison. That's his second for the day. 22 minutes into the first quarter here. North Geelong have done most of the attacking in the last 10 minutes or so. They moved to three goals, 4-22. Yeah, they seem to have lifted a gear. And Anarchy only two points. Yeah. We wait for Jolly. Kicks towards the commentary side wing, looking for Bissett. Good play from Bissett. Good use of the body in front of Burke. And Bissett takes the mark close to the boundary line at half back for Anarchy. Just showed his strength there, did Corey. Was uh, tempted to be pushed off the ball, but backed into his opponent sideways and uh, was able to grab the footy in the air at ground level. A little hand pass coming out. The ball's pretty hot in there at the moment. In goes these. Over the top goes Camarotto. Is he giving away a free kick? Umpire says, No, I'm going to ball it up. And uh, a bit of an umpiring advice. The umpire's advisor might be in front of us too to keep your eye on the that ball. That might be the North Geelong president, Dick Philpott, I think. Welsh I think pushes it might be. The back. Here comes Big Welsh. He's nearly as big as Dick. Got the, got the kick in. Picked up by the Axe Burns. Tumbles the punt around the corner. It's OK. Little man, he's got it. Goes, plays on immediately with a long left foot. The wind's just slewed that one away. It's over the line and out of bounds. It'll be a result and free kick to Jason Franken. Deep down there in defence, about 45 metres out from the goal he's defending. And young Priddle, Rory Priddle, up from the under 18s, will stand the mark. Franken now, waits for a lead. Green goes short, but he goes long towards Bissett and Elford. He's got three to beat here at Bissett. He's pushed out, and he will get the free kick. Pushed by Burke from yeah. behind, and Corey Bissett will take the free kick at half back. Well, good play from Corey Bissett. He's coming down the ground to try and pick up possessions because the ball's not getting to centre half forward, so that's good thinking by the big fella. He looks long towards Welsh at half forward, and Elford. Proctor turns around, had his back towards the ball and couldn't take the mark, and it runs out in front of Proctor and Welsh. And we'll have a throw in. Just in front of us here at Osborne Park. Elford and Welsh will do the ruck work again. It's over the back, but both of them using 
all their strength in their bodies out towards Bissett and Burke. They can't keep the ball in and we'll have a throw in in front of the Anarchy coaches box. With North Geelong leading three goals, 4.22 to Anarchy, two behinds. We might uh, have a bit of a look at the time clock shortly if we can get that one up downstairs. Fano, we'd, here it is. Look at that, run right on the ball. 23 and a half minutes gone of the first quarter on the... Uh, the time clock brought to us by Bannockburn Sporting Trophies as the throw-in occurs and Orford might have got that one down to turf. East tries to crash his way through the pack. He's given the benefit of the doubt. Burns knocks the ball further afield of Elzinger. Right foot kick in a hurry from Elzinger. Out comes Booth, right out. Comes Jolly, chipping in Priddle. Little hand pass is OK. Looks like... Uh, Smilovic. Might have been Steve Smilovic. I think I was going to call Glenn Milne at the wrong end, but it's Steve Smilovic putting one through there and a handy goal to North Geelong. And they've kicked right away in the opening quarter now, brought to us by the Great Western Hotel. They've gone to five goals, four. That'll be 34 points on the board. Anarchy. I think you find it's 4 4. He's beat me up with a score, has he? <laughs> yep, he certainly has. It's 4 4, 28 to <laughs> two behind. Won't argue with him. And good play by the uh, young guys in the North Geelong side there, Elzinger and Priddle. Great handball from Priddle to Smilovic in the forward line to finish off that goal for North Geelong. 24 and a half minutes gone in this first quarter and North Geelong using any breeze they have to all their advantage. So we see Elford now will get the benefit of the bounce. He gets tackled, too high, pushing the back. Oh, and Darren Jolly and Elford are and, a scuffle uh, in the middle of the ground. Jolly's been willing. moved from full forward. Bit of an altercation in the middle of the ground here. Neil Alford gets up off the bottom of that pack with a bit of mud, but speckled on the back. And Darren Jolly uh, making his present felt as soon as he's come onto the ball, but giving away the free kick by look at that because Alford takes it. Head past to Swedison, standing start, kicks it 65 metres with a spiral punt. Coming out, taking the mark in defence there is uh, Glenn Menzies. Looks different in the in the, uh, <laughs> in the different jab. They couldn't pick him up. Now he gets it across to Light, who takes the mark at left half back, chips the ball around the centre wing, and Gibbons, who's been quite a good performer in the first quarter, takes the mark. They've had possession, but not gained much territory here. Little kick comes across. Shane Coots takes the mark. Goes for Simon. Wide on this uh, side of the ground. He can't take it. They had five possession to gain 30 yards. Here comes Burns in the booth. Roy right, knocked away by Jolly. Did he give away the free? No. At ground level. Big Menzies comes in. He gathers. Hand passes dangerously into the goal square. Oh, got through for a point just before Little Priddle could give it. Uh, that was nearly an own goal there for, for Big was, Sir yeah. Robert. It was great chasing by Rory Priddle and Menzies. Just pushed it through in front of him there to take North along onto four goals, 5-29. And Anarchy's still two behinds. We wait for Jolly now. He kicks to the outer side looking for... That was looking for Bissett out there. He can't take the mark. Good play there from North Geelong. In short towards Marnie. It's over his head. And Costello takes the mark at centre-half back for Anarchy. He pushed it out towards the wing looking for S Simon. He can't take the mark. He gets up now. Tackled. In towards Gibbons. He's pushed over. No, it was actually a North Geelong player, Shane Burns. And Shane Burns will take the, take the free kick as we see the Great Western Hotel. North Geelong, four goals, 5-29. Anarchy two behinds. Burns now looking to centre half forward. Smilovic and Menzies. Good punch by Menzies. Over the back. Costello now. Ducks one, ducks two. He's tackled now. And that will be holding the ball. Good tackle. Yeah, just tried to do a little bit too much there, Mickey. He would uh, just try to break free. Trying to set something up. But he's given away the free kick. Little Marty takes it. Left foot kick in towards Booth right in the pocket. Out comes Jolly. Puts the boot into it too. Suckles it up the ground. It's outside 50 now. Lights a chance. He's got opposition. Can he get around his opponent there? Wearing the 26 Guernsey, a youngster there, Peter Tabby, can't do so. And the ball is out of bounds on the far side of the ground. 27 minutes gone of the first quarter. Brought to us by Bannockburn Sporting Trophies that time clock. As the back end of play it comes. Up goes Big Smith of it, kicked that last goal, got it down towards Ryan. In a bit of trouble, the hand pass comes back to Sid Jones, goes under the left foot, kicks it inside, 50, who's waiting there? Craig Eves takes the mark. Eves about 40 metres out, was the only one looking at the ball there. Both Anarchy players return with their backs to the ball. Well, they're rattled at the moment, Jason, in my book, Anarchy, they're not playing well and they're rattled. And Eves now will have a shot for goal about 40 metres out. Use the breeze with his right foot, good kick, good kick by Eves. But just off to the left, I thought he used the breeze well there. But the well, they're all clapping in front of us, and yep. the players were clapping down there, and I just marked it in. So I'm having a great day with these <laughs> goal kickers. Just one point there to Craig Eves. Just slightly offline as we wait on Jolly to bring the ball back into play. Just sizing up the options. Scotty Simon makes the lead out this side of the ground. Lovely kick from Jolly Simon. Should mark it half back, and he does. 
Lovely kick out. He's got a player lose up the ground. If he can get it to him in a hurry, it's Shane Coots. Enough carry. Lovely kick, Scotty Simon. And a good mark taken by Shane Coots. It just cleared Elzinger. Coots took the mark. Swinnison came in after him. Now, he's got to get back on the Elmer. Elmer should get the free kick. It's not paid. Up by. I can't believe it. Here comes Alford. He gathers the ball on centre wing. Tumbles the punt forward. Had a mark taken. Very nicely indeed by Elzinger. And he, away he goes. Elzinger now on his right foot. Looks long for Boothroyd. He's got the good position here, Boothroyd. And he takes a good mark over the top of Jolly. Good positioning of the body there by Rod Boothroyd. And good play from Elzinger to kick the ball long when he's one out with Jolly. And he will have a shot for goal about 25 to 30 metres out on about a 45 degree angle. Showing plenty of spirit out here today too, the Magpies. Just see Glenn Milne run across, congratulate Timmy Schwerness and Neil Orford on their good work on the fence here in front of us. Although I did think that Jamie Helmer was certainly held by the arm when trying to take that mark by Tim Schwerness. But the old timer's got away with it. We wait for Boothroyd now. He comes in. Use the breeze to bring the ball back in on his right boot. He kicks now. He looks he may have missed to the left-hand side. He has. And that's his first behind for this, for this afternoon. Well, coach, uh, Anarchy coach Daryl Bissett down here in front of us, he'd be hoping that the sire rings pretty quickly, I'd reckon, for quarter time because they've fallen away in this last 15 or 18 minutes of this first quarter. And he'll be looking for a bit of respite to try and make some moves and get some energy going to these players as Jolly's kicked in brilliantly again. Cooks the target up. He can't take the mark. Elzinger's at ground level. So too there was Marnie. His little Belair's trying to crash his way through the pack. Got a little air pass out. Picked up by Young Priddle. Left foot kick just high up in the air. Sitting under at Jason Franken. Is that a mark? Did it go far enough? He's called the mark. Well, that was interesting. Went about, went about 25 oh. metres. Swenison with a great mark on the siren. Well, he's a thumping kick, Jason. Don't be surprised if he drills this. I don't think the distance will be a problem. He's going to kick from about 55 metres. Anarchy have got three players back on Boothroyd. We wait on Schwenison now. Kick after the siren, 55 metres onto his left foot. He goes long. Looks like a goal. Great goal from Tim Schwenison on the siren. Great work from North Geelong. It was a bad kick from Franken looking for Simon. And North Geelong finish off the first quarter with five goals, 7.37, and their 35-point leaders over the visitors, Anarchy, who are two behinds. Well, great quarter for North Geelong. Finished off by a magnificent kick there by Tim Schwederson. There's a big booth board coming back in screen. Got two goals, one on the board, and he looks to be a bit of a problem child down there for Anarchy. They've got to regroup at quarter time. They haven't scored a goal in the first quarter. They're just two points, playing 37. They're 35 points behind. Goal kickers, none for Anarchy. North Geelong have got uh, one goal to ease, one to Schwederson, one to Steve Smilovic. And two goals to Rod Boothroyd. And at the second quarter, we'll bring it back shortly. There's the Great Western Hotel bringing up the scoreboard there. 5 7 37, North Geelong. Anarchy of two points. And Benny Burns Sporting Trophies, of course, are bringing us the time clock. And that quarter went just on 31 minutes. And at the second quarter, is coming right up.